yes so we keep seeing videos like this we keep seeing hearing stories like this that if a man marries a woman from africa and you know bring the woman to the united kingdom or to america to germany to australia um as soon as the woman gets to the uk or wherever they've taken her to and then she's able to you know get some form of um higher education or some sort of profession and probably she becomes a nurse a doctor or a social worker or you know just anything in the diaspora that she will turn against her husband who you know brought her from nigeria i really don't agree to that because sometimes some of those men they tend to forget that you know people grow like a woman that will you know normally take some shit back home in africa by the time she gets to the diaspora she sees oh these are they are doing it and then they discover that this man is trying to oppress them this trying this man is trying to subject them subject them to some certain kind of things they wouldn't want to you know succumb to that they want to stand up for themselves especially when they realize that okay oh, this country this place that i am now i have a voice i can speak you know some of these things that our parents um let me say our parents or our mothers or grandmothers, great grandmothers, we are able to tolerate back then in the past, you know, is not the same as the Gen Z wives or Gen Z mothers that we have these days. <laughs> yes, so the kind of wives and mothers that we have now is not, they are not the ones that want to tolerate or take rubbish from anybody apart from even their husbands even friends some people some ladies will not take rubbish from you so this man is literally saying that as far you are a woman you are supposed to 100 percent to surrender and give everything to the man no you are not supposed to say yes when the man says no you are not supposed to say no when the man says yes if you are in the diaspora living with your husband that has realized in fact i'm just talking too much i will let you guys see the rest but just let me know what you think in the comment section but in the meantime before we go further if you are meeting me for the first time welcome to my channel my name is joan ekeke mind you this is a voiceover video because some of you will be like okay oh, your math your body your body language gesture is not corresponding with your voice or the voice of the um people coming on that the video so no this and no peace this is a voiceover video so you'll be hearing their voices in a minute like i said i've been very busy like very very busy you always see the results you know when when the time comes so i'm really strongly but i will keep bringing um video stories news like this so that we all can learn yes we all can learn i'll keep bringing them but most of my videos just expect voiceover videos like this so subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell and a very big thank you to my returning subscribers i appreciate every one of you yes 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 i appreciate you god bless you keep watching keep sharing keep liking the video click on the like button of this video please click on the like button with that being said let's hear from them so if your job moves if your if your job moves from compete from complimenting the man to competing with him you've lost it as a wife that's another thing i just wanted to talk about the the the, the woman the man is the undisputed head of the family unconditional head of the family in africa even here if you also study if you've actually oh studied if, if you also if you if you've also studied how marriage how you know the marriage structure was altered here you know the advent of King, the, the 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 advent of King, King, Queen Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth did a lot of structure to the balance of marriage here. The, the women became, you know, it wasn't a natural thing. But I'm not going to go into that. So the man is the undisputed head of the family. It doesn't matter if he ha has money or if he doesn't have money. He is the undisputed head. It doesn't matter if he's sick. He is the head of the family. <laughs> um. I'm not going to talk to that lady. So please, talk, talk, uh, um, think about your husband. Uh, the point I was just trying to make is that I hear people say, no, you've come to the UK. You've come to the Western world. There is no culture police. We're not in Iran where there's a moral, morality police. There is no culture police that comes to check what happens in your home. I have four children. I've got two teenagers. We train them differently because the dynamics.
It's different. We're training them in line with what they are going to see here. But my wife and I, I just finished eating. Look, let me tell you, my wife brought me food here. I just finished eating. She works, my wife, my wife works nine to five. I work nine to five. My wife is a master's degree holder. She brought me food here. After bringing food, she went and brought water. As I finished eating, my wife came and took the, the cups and the dish. Oh, and... <laughs> Madam, um, I don't know how you how you should be entertaining some somebody that's this what, disrespectful. What, 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 because, because you got because you got to do that for your Sisters, sisters, please, please, let's not interrupt him again, please. No, madam, this please, let's not interrupt him again, please. This is not interrupting. This is being simply no. simply irresponsible. No. And abusive. Uh, uh, please, please, sisters, um, let's not do that again, please. Let's not do that. If not, we'll take the box. Let's not do that again. Because let me just say something. You say a lot of things. One second. One second. One second. One second. Second, one second. And you go for your meeting. Oh, oh, so it's one, better oh, 10 minutes, 15 one second, minutes, and one let second. other people talk so that we can uh, learn. I'm not here to dialogue. Okay, okay. Don't, okay. don't worry. Don't worry about one second, sir. Don't worry about how they interrupt you. Just continue. Don't just forget about everything. The host is in control. Just just say make a point. Don't worry about it. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just make this point, this few points, and I'll I'll, I'll stop. I I heard them. Um, I, I looked at that Miss Otiad and a few of them. They are not married. If you were married, you will understand the role of a father in a home. I am a father, and I play a very big role. I am a mother and I have a husband, so don't see. I, 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 I am happy, too. I'm, I'm not, and I'm, I'm happily married. married. I didn't talk to you. I'm not addressing you. They speak yeah. this their thing without please. knowing, making themselves seem very intelligent. Please, please allow, you when are allow him. him. You are just put it in the comment section, you are please. You're one-sided. Please, Madam, just put it in the comment section. Dr. Dr. Kende, Dr. Kende, if you're a doctor, you should also understand that they are always... Yeah, that's why you shouldn't be one-sided. Please to speak out okay, that there's no... Dr. 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 Kaye, allow him. You, you, can, ask you can ask him your questions when he's not. When he's not, we can ask him questions. You cannot have what to say. When is the whole time you're free to talk? Allow me to finish. Allow me to... If I, if I don't address the men, then you understand. But you can You are not in a position to tell me what to say. Please, please, anybody that interrupts him again, I'm, I'm bringing you down to the comment section so that somebody else can be in the box. Please, just allow him to finish. If you have any question, just put it in the comment section, please. Just type it there. And when he's done, we'll go one after the other, asking him questions. It's better we, he addresses you one, you know, one at a time, rather than everyone, you know, interrupting him and then he forgets what he wants to say. He's entitled to his own opinion as well. So we need to also respect that because there are also people learning from him as well, from what he's saying. Yeah, so let's just respect that, please, everyone. Everyone. Thank you so much. Carry on, sir. Sorry, sir. Thank you, madam. Please, if you if you do not respect your own husband, you can't bring it to me. I am the head of my family. My wife cannot be talking over me. That will not happen. I am the head of my own family. You might call me misogynist, narcissist, chauvinist, whatever. I am the man. My wife knows her place as my wife. She will not talk over me. She will not disrespect me, and I will not disrespect her. It's as simple as that. Now, let's continue. Somebody asked the question, what is the role of a man? Um, because many of you, you 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 copy wrongly when you come to the UK. I'm going to talk about the men. You copy wrongly when you come to the UK. You don't even know what you're copying. You haven't lived with a white white people before. You haven't lived in your home. You don't even understand the culture you're copying. So you you begin to think that the man is all about the benefit system. No, the man is not about the benefit system. The role of a man is that the man is a role model to the children, an authority figure. Now when he speaks. Everybody in the home, they might be disrespecting mom, but when dad comes in, everybody comes down. That is the role of a dad. The dad helps the children set their strategic objectives, life objectives. The dad also helps the mom. If the mom's objective is not, you know, if the mom, the dad looks at the mom's objective and the mom's objective, you know, her own life dreams, or she's not doing well in her life dreams, the job of the mom, of the dad, is to help the mom craft her vision help her can you do it this way can you take this course can you do this look at what is going on and the dad will be there to support this is what i do for my own wife the major job let me tell you let me say this listen and just if you can listen well your job as a woman your job as a man is to make your wife better that is what i've done in the last 16 years to make my wife better to improve her to push her to find the best ways to get the best version of her out of her 
what makes you a high value woman is not having children it's not cooking it's the impact the value you bring to the life of your partner man or woman a side chick a baby mama can do all the things you claim to do if you don't improve your partner if you don't improve your wife if you don't improve your husband and all you bring is i i cook i go to nine to five i do care i do this i do that you're just an average woman you there's nothing that differentiates you from a side chick or a side man how do you improve your man that is actually your job your job is to help your man look at his goals is his, are his goals big enough when last did you tell your man what when last did you discuss your plan for the year what was your plan this year if your man doesn't have a plan you have a big woman that should be worshipped at what point this year do you say let's sit down and think about what we're going to achieve this year how many houses we're going to buy this year what investments we're going to do this year how many times this year have you reviewed those plans you offered nothing just the basic cooking sex and everything and you think you're something that should be worshipped when last did you see look at the man and say let's look at our life objectives when are we going to retire the only thing you talk about is let's go on holiday i want to buy gucci i want to buy brazilian hair i want to buy indian hair you are just a basic level a low quality woman and man and you come on social media you talk you talk as if you have anything anything else anything else to offer apart from your 1800 pounds Come on, let's 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 know who we are. Let's know our place. Come do, according to the Scottish man. Come do and learn. That's it. Your job is to help your husband or your your wife identify their life goals. If they if their goals are not big enough, if they are not hairy, if they are not audacious, if they don't keep him keep you awake at night, you tell him, honey, darling, whatever you call. What is this family's goal? What are we here to achieve? let's let's build let's create how do you how do we retire at in the next 10 years what do we need to do and if the man doesn't know if the man already has goals and doesn't know how to achieve them or the woman doesn't have you come in and say i have a better way of doing this so in 2025 my suggestion to you if you want to be respected if you want to be valued tell the man don't talk about what we will achieve in 2025 and do a performance do a gap analysis of your marriage do a performance appraisal every quarter to see how far you are from your goals for the year high value modern women modern women and modern men are those that bring in what they learn from the society to make their marriage better education doctor and others here education makes you more humble Education helps you to get life skills, social skills that you bring into the marriage to make your marriage better, to make your husband better, to strengthen him in his areas of weakness. It's not to compliment him. It's not to tell him, nah, I'm British. I, we, I, had, I got British citizenship ten, seven years ago. What difference has he made to me? Nothing. I even realized that I was so curious at getting it. But when I got it, what else? I don't travel. I don't need it. I, I need it here anytime. I just need it because I need to get it. It hasn't changed anything about me or my family. We are still the same Igbo people that move to this place. And my job every day, if you ask my wife, is to make her better. Is to make sure that the job she's doing, I don't like the job she's doing. I need her to be earning six figures in a year. I want her to earn more than, my, more than I earn. If that is not what you're doing, you are nobody. Just coming on social media, making noise when you have nothing to offer. Let's move on. The man's job again is to be the second eye to the mother. You know, mom is so engrossed with so many things at home, cooking, cleaning, taking, looking after the kids, doing so many things. She's so stressed, working as well. She misses a lot of things. The man is there to look at how the kids are developing, you know, where the kids are doing things wrong, to jump in to help. Maybe the kids are wearing things they're not supposed to wear. The mom doesn't see them. The man jumps in. The kids are watching what they're not supposed to watch. When the mom is busy, the dad jumps in. They are not doing their homework. The dad jumps in. No, you need to. Have you done your homework? What about your results? What did you get? The dad jumps in. Dad is there to provide, to help 
the, especially the, the male child to manage his masculine energy. You know, he, the, the male child can misapply his ma masculine energy and then go out there to join gangs, go out there to smoke, we do drugs. Is the dad's role to show him how to be a man, how to, things like, the kind of friends to keep, the kind of friends that he should not keep, things he should do, help him with his physical development. That's the job of the dad. I'm going to be, just be brief. Dad also shows leadership, shows the, the children, especially the male child, how to be a leader. By the way, dad leads him, leads the siblings, and leads mom. By the, 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 the way dad get and mom stay on the same on the same lane, stay together to punish them when they do something wrong, to chastise them, to take decisions. By the way, dad, if we, if, if we want to buy a TV in the house, I call mom and say, we want to, I want to buy a TV. Look at this TV. Do you like it? She says yes. Then we call the children. They say, that shows them participatory leadership. That is the job of the dad. That also shows them dictatorial leadership. When mom wants to do some other things, that says, no, you're not going to do that. That's not going to happen here. Look at why it's not going to happen. No, my, my decision is final here. The children see it. And they know that a man is can be can vary his leadership style according to different scenarios. That is the job of a dad, how to lead respectfully. Okay, dad also provides children with academic support. Because you're asking what does what do men bring to the table? That provides academic support. Dad is there to help the child, the children, choose courses where they want to go, help them with their homeworks. Help ensure that they do their studies at home, arrange lessons for them, external lessons or private lessons. That is there. That is also ensures that they follow their timetable, that they create their timetable, their own personal timetable of studies. And that, that enforces that they, they, do, they, do, they follow those timetables. I'm rushing through it. That helps them to have developed a healthy emotional, emotional balance. That helps with their emotional growth. When they are shouting at home, fighting with each other, talking to mom, off, that jumps in and say, no, 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 talk to each other nicely. Talk to each other respectfully. You don't have to fight. Uh, this person, respect your elder brother. This person, don't talk to your brother, your younger brother, in a disrespectful manner. That, that is what that does. Because sometimes mom, because mom is always with them, mom tends not to see some of these things. That helps them to have a healthy emotional development and ha helps them to handle their impulses. That helps them to stay calm under stress. That there is nothing they cannot discuss. That fighting is not a, it's not a way. That also helps them with conflict resolution skills, which I've just discussed. When they have a problem with their friends outside, they come back and that comes to understand. If they fight at school, that helps them next time. You don't do it this way. You don't do it this way. You don't do it this way. This is not who we are. And that mommy says it and that reinforces it as the authority figure. Now, that helps them with financial literacy. Mommy, maybe this person that is materialistic, that buys threat bone, uh, bone strength. And let me also say this. You live in a, a one bedroom flat or three bedroom flat, a rented flat. You're buying share of one thousand pounds, and your husband talks. You say, "Oh, that is how it is done in the UK." Shame on to you. You don't have a mortgage. You're not telling the, your husband. All you're nagging your husband is how to cook, how to clean the house, but you're not telling him how do we buy our own mortgage, how do we own rented flats. It's not being a man. The only way he's been a man is it's not by doing gender responsibilities. You, you don't bring ideas on how do we buy a flat? How do I manage? Dad, must you buy this Polora Florida shirt you bought? This will be, I think, Dad, you have this watch. Why don't you return it? Let's save money. We need our own flat. That is not what you're discussing. All you're discussing are mundane issues. Come in on social media to embarrass yourself. And people, other ethnic groups laugh at us. You don't bring any good idea to the table. You're living in a flat, in a, in a flat. In a rented apartment, you're buying a Range Rover. You want your husband to buy a Range Rover, Range Rover for you. And you call yourself a high value woman. Come on, think about it. So let's continue. That 
talks, teach, teaches his children how to be financially literate, how to manage money, how to ensure that one of the things that my father taught me was that everyone you must account for every one naira you earn. You can't be for side chicks. You can't be, my dad taught me that every penny you earn must be accounted for. Can you please uh, try to round up quick? Yeah, so I'm up. It's just a few points, sir. Um, uh, the host is here as well, Pajero. Um, how to respect and protect women by the way I treat their mom at home, by the way I talk to mom, my children see it. My, my sons see it. My sons, they see it. And by then, that is the only way. They, it's not by what I say, it's what they see. And I also ask them from time to time, how do you think my, my, my relationship with your mom is? They give me feedback and I just, I also learn from people on social media. So social relationships, you know, how to have healthy social relationship with your friends. My son comes back sometimes that nobody likes me. I say, no, 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 you're the problem. You can't go to this school and we move to here again and you're telling me that nobody likes you. You have a problem and we begin to discuss it. Again, that's another one. How to remain disciplined. Daddy brings in discipline into a family. I'm, I'm rounding up discipline. And finally, how to provide for his family. A father's role is irreplaceable. To my men, just one word to my men. The best way why your woman is challenging you is that she no longer looks up to you. Therefore, you must work hard. You must earn enough money. Don't, don't let anyone deceive you. There's nothing called love in a marriage. Anybody that tells you that is a joke. What we have is transactional, transactional exchange of benefits in the marriage. And once it what once your own side of the bargain diminishes, that thing called love goes away. So you must be there as the man, the, the, the person that the woman is looking up to financially and in everything. If the woman can no longer look up to you, if you are calling a woman, let me say this now. I'm sorry to say this. The men will not like it. If every month, at the end of every month, you are calling a woman, here yeah, a Nigerian woman, the way they reason, they don't want to forget that part of the culture. You see that part of the culture? They want you to be British, according to whatever they call British or American. But they don't want to forget that part of the culture. If you cannot provide, and what they mean provide is pay the bills. If you cannot provide, my brother, forget about respect. It's gone. They still want you to be the provider. My sister, finally, please. Your money belongs to the family. 